Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back my dear friends, a very good morning, uh, good afternoon and good evening to all of you. And as you know this is the DADM 2 which is data analysis and decision making 2 course under the NPTEL MOOC series. And we uh, and, and obviously I repeat it time and again, but in order to make you how things are as, as we progress, this is a 12 week course of 30 hours. Each week we have half an hour lecture. Um, of, of 5 each in total number and, uh, and after each uh, week which is of 5 lectures we have an exam, exam on assignment um, uh, which is given and after the end of the course we have a question paper or, or a final question paper to be solved. And we have already started uh, the fifth uh, week and we are going to start today the 22nd lecture and my name is Raghunandan Sengupta from the IME department IIT Kanpur. So, if you remember we were discussing about the decision which Ram and Sham has and they have to take a decision whether they want to go to I am Ahmedabad or I am Bangalore or I am Calcutta and each has different level of importance they want to assign to academic rigor with respect to placement potential. And when they individually consider these three institutes under this, this um, uh, criteria and they arrive at different weights for these alternatives, alternatives being A, B, C, I am A, I am B, I am C. Now just at the fag end of uh, the 21st lecture, I did mention that what if their parents come? I have not included that, I will come to that in explanation, what their uh, parents come into the picture. So, obviously for the parents, thus both the sons would be of the same importance, but I did mention that uh, they have their relatives in Bangalore, they want uh, both of the kids to go to Bangalore, but Bangalore cost is high while, while Calcutta cost is low. So, obviously they have to make a judicious decision with respect to cost, with respect to safety of the place, with respect to what is what are the subjective criteria they want to analyze in order to arrive at the decision. Similarly, both the sums have also uh, already arrived on the decision based on these two uh, criteria which was mentioned. Some may be subjective and some may be objective. So, with this brief, brief background let me continue with the 22nd lecture. So, collectively when I consider Rams and Shams, I am not considered their parents now, it can be expanded. Maybe the, the slide uh, space is too small hence I have not been able to do that, but I will try to explain that. So, Rams and Shams collective hierarchy is as follows. So, we basically it is uh, the hierarchy and the decisions are an analyzed accordingly. So, say for example, for the parents if you remember, for parents when they analyze Ram and Sham basically get the same score of 50 percent, 50 percent as 0 0.5, 0 0.5 which is basically values of P and Q. Now, for hierarchy 2 if you remember, Ram had a score of uh, one third is to two third for placement potential with respect to academic rigor, while Sham had a score of one fourth is to three fourth for placement potential and academic rigor, which is mentioned here. So, these were one is to two and one is to four, that is twice and thrice. Now, let us mention them as points P. Uh, the or uh, the, the, the values which are given as P1, P2 for uh, Ram and Q1, Q2 for Sham. Now, let us go into the next level. If you remember Ram and Sham, so this uh, to coming back to the last slide, 50 percent, 50 percent were the weights being given to Ram and Sham by the parents and 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 3 were basically the the criteria's weights which are being assigned by Ram and Sham respectively. Now, let us come to the fact that for each of these criteria, how do the decisions or the alternatives rank themselves or are ranked by 
both the decision makers separately which is Ram and Sham. So, let us consider Ram if you remember had the uh, for the points or the scores being assigned was basically P with some suffix 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, I will come to that 1, 2, 3, 4 later on. So, Ahmedabad had 30 for Ram, 40 for um, uh, Bangalore and 30 for Calcutta. So, the scores are given as P11, P12 and P13. Now, let me go into the alternatives with respect to. So, these are the alternatives are um, uh, the, the A, B, C are with respect to the criteria which are placement and academic potential uh, rigor. Similarly, the weights are 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3, these are normalized and they are denoted for RAM as P21, P22, P23. So, the first set which is yellow and, and red highlighted are that for A, B, C, I am A, I am B, I am C for these two criteria which is academic rigor and placement potential for RAM only, hence they are marked as with the main uh, symbol as P with the corresponding suffix. Let us now switch our attention to Sham, the other son. For uh, Sham, they are now denoted by the symbol Q with the corresponding suffix. So, it will be Q11, Q12, Q313, then Q21, Q22, Q23 depending on which level you are. So, Ahmedabad has 0 0.25. Bangalore has 0.25, Calcutta has 0.5, again a normalized score and these are given as Q11, Q12, Q13. So, you will basically assign them points accordingly. When you come to the other set of, of alternative based on the same set of alternatives based on the other uh, criteria. So, they are Q21, Q22, Q23 and for the decision alternatives, the weights are 0 0.35, 0 0.35, 0 0.3 which is 35, 35 and 30. So, if you consider this, the first set is for RAM, the second set is for Shyam. So, they will basically consider that and that 50, 50 or 0 0.5, 0 0.5 was the weights being given by the parents to Ram and Shyam respectively. So, hence when I consider Ram's point and Sham point and then combine that for the alternatives um, A, B, C. Now, here let us pause one thing. It can be analyzed in a such a way that I can rank the decisions individually or I can basically collectively consider the overall score for each decisions where all the scores of the of Ram, of Sham and the parents would be considered in a collective manner. So, you have to just basically make the, the hierarchy in such a way and give and multiply the points accordingly. For, so, for Ahmedabad, the scores are like this and if you see the here you are combining all the weights for Ram and Sham. So, if I consider the part for Ram, Ram was P. So, obviously, this set of scores are with respect to Ram because they were the P with the corresponding suffix. And this sets of scores were for sham. So, this would be S, I will just use S for sham and R for Ram. Similarly, when I come to Bangalore, again I take the collective weights. Only remember make a note of the of the suffixes which are there. So, P and Q are basically for Ram and Sham respectively, the, but the suffixes would denote you in which way the hierarchy has been denoted. So, I will use a different col color, let me use the same color, so it will be easy for us. So, again this is for 
ram i think i should be use a different colors excuse me one minute please this is for ram and let me use the light blue for sham so for sham is this one where the q suffix are there but the the q uh, symbol is there but the suffixes are accordingly i'll draw that please wait so this is for ram i'll put a r this is for for sham i'll put an s then when i go to i am calcutta so initially i finished i am ahmedabad then i be finished bangalore and i am going to calcutta so this is ram and similarly this will be for sham for calcutta if i put the highlighter using red color so this is ram this is sham so in this way i can be able to denote that so in order to make it much more clear let me draw the diagram so i'll use uh, first black color and then mark it accordingly with the colors to um, to give a but better picture about ram and sham so you have the arms this is ram this is sham i'm using the same color please note that and this will come for academic rigor then for uh, placement potential everything so if i am considering okay let me consider in a better way ar is academic rigor or pl is placement potential and consider this is ram we'll combine them accordingly and basically have different type of trees and combine them so it is not the only single hierarchy they would be for ram they would be for sham then combining from the point of view of the parents also so you will basically put weights accordingly so it is p11 so this will be p22 no it will be p12 sorry sorry p12 p13 then you will have p21 this one will be p22 and this one will be p23 so if i go up the hierarchy they would be multiplied accordingly similarly they would be for one, again i am repeating they would be one for sham and they would be combined for the parents so we'll basically combine all the scores accordingly i'll come to that problem solving so what are the different wide um, uh, applications for ahp so we will come to uh, actual problem solving so wide range of applications exist say for example you want to select a car uh, for purchasing you want to buy so who are the decision makers can be the father the mother the two kids maybe the in laws so what are the criteria maybe the cost maybe the color maybe the make maybe the whatever the societal value it has some may be very irrational i agree but it may be some may be resale value some may be maintenance cost some may be boot space some may be the criteria can be the safety principle uh then what is the per in the emi you have to pay per month say for example the pe, the the family wants to buy a car for which they have to take a loan so all these things can be considered 
you want to decide on a place to visit, maybe the cost, maybe the time to travel, maybe the safety of the place, maybe the hotel, maybe say for example, how, whether it is a mountain, whether it is a seaside, what they like. The parents may like, say for example, mountains, the kids may like the seaside or the father likes, likes a, low, a very quiet place while the mother likes a place where there are a lot of hustle bustle, lot of market, lot of uh, happening things are, ha are taking place so that she is quite happy. Or the kids may like a place where it has a lot of uh, games to be played, the hotel has say for example, different type of uh, games like uh, maybe uh, swimming pool is there for the kids, maybe snooker is there for the kids to play, maybe a football court, a tennis court, table tennis court, badminton, all these things would be there. So, they will basically give points accordingly. You want to decide about MBA program, just the example which I considered like Ram and Sham, placement potential, academic rigor, parents um, uh, there also say is there which they want to also put on their kids, all these things can be considered as actual very interesting examples for AHP. So, the AHP algorithm is basically composed of two steps. Point one, you determine the relative weights of the decision criteria. So, if you remember, I did mention Ram and Sham giving weights of 1 is to 3 and, and 1 is to 4. Those were based on the fact what is the score you want to place for placement potential with respect to academic rigor, Ram and Sham give those points. So, when you decide on the weights, this the relative weights are decided by the decision maker based on the decision criteria which he or she has. That was the best one step and then you determine the relative ranking or the priorities of the alternatives based on the cumulative scores a person has assigned to the different type of alternatives. So, we will come to that. AHP considered considers both qualitative as well as quantitative information and they can be compared by using informed judgment to derive weights accordingly such that you are able to combine the weights to arrive at the final answer. So, let us consider a very simple example, I am not going to make it very complicated, you can make it complicated with different layers of hierarchy, different layers of criteria, different layers of decision making. So, objective is to select a car, you want to buy a car, what are the criteria you want to consider, the style of the car, the cost of the car and the fuel economy. I am not going to consider efficiency, EMI per month maintenance cost, resale value, safety, all this I am not going to consider. They can be brought into the picture in order to make it more much more realistic. Let us consider a very simple problem. What are the alternatives? Alternatives of Civic, the car, I-20, Escort and Alto. So, obviously, cost factor will also come into the picture later on apart from this subjective criteria. So, this is the hierarchy. The hierarchies are you have style which is only style. Okay, by the way, another thing, I am, uh, this style, I am considering it is of a single level of criteria or hierarchy. It can be, see for example, style can be broken down into more sub level of criteria, tertiary one, we are not going to consider that. The next uh, criteria, next alt, uh, criteria, sorry, criteria f um, with respect to style on the same level is cost. Again, cost is only no one set of criteria, it is not broken down. So, maybe the cost would have been the buying cost, the selling cost, the EMIs, the fuel cost, all these things. Maybe the insurance cost, all these things we are not going to consider in a very simplistic manner uh, for our problem. The third um, uh, criteria is fuel economy. So, again fuel economy, I am not going to consider the, whether at high speed or low speed, all these things. So, there is only one hierarchy, the hierarchy considers style, cost and fuel economy. So, what are the decision um, alternatives which you have? It is the Civic car, I-20, Escort and Alto. So, alternative course of actions based on the fact you want to arrive to buy the best car for only one person, there can be many persons who are going to take the decision, I am not going to consider all the different persons and combine them, I am only going to take one person's criteria. So, one of the decisions can be, say for example, Civic for style you consider to buy a new car, then Civic for cost 
and then there can be civic for fuel economy. See for example, then you consider I 20, it can be I 10, it can be style, then go, can be cost and then go, can be fuel economy and then go. So, these are being cumulatively considered. Next for escort can be style, then you decide the selecting card, can be cost, can be fuel economy. So, these the colors which I am giving have a specific significance. If it is yellow, it is a cumulative score which you are going to combine, multiply and sum them up for the civic. Similarly, for the orange one, it is a multiplicity factor of all the scores, sum them up for I 20. For the blue one, which I have just done now is for the escort, multiply the factors and sum up the scores. And for alto, I am using the green color, where I multiply the scores being assigned uh, for style separately, cost separately, fuel economy separately, combine them and add them up. So, based on the overall score, I will rank them from the highest to the lowest. This is our main, main uh, idea and obviously, this can be done for, for person 1, father, person 2, mother, person 3, the in-laws, person 4, the kids and so on and so forth, it can go. Like as you saw, it was Ram, Sham, the parents. Now, how do I? The scores which I have been giving repeatedly, I did not mention anything about the scores, now I am going to come to that. So, look at this table as proposed by Sati. So, the intensity of the importance of the decisions are given on the leftmost column. So, there are odd numbers, it can be even also, which is in the last cell. The intensity of importance are given as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and obviously, you have 2, 4, 6, 8, I will come to that explanation. And the definitions are given. If you give a score of 1 is to 1, it means there are equal importance and is mentioned in, in mentions, which is this point, which, which I do not highlight, I will just mark, uh, hover my electronic pen there. There are two factors which contribute equally to the objective, hence you are giving a score of 1 is to 1. If it is a score of 3, which is somewhat more important, which you are giving because the experience and judgment slightly favor one factor with respect to the other. So, obviously, you will give it a score of higher of 3 and what is the score you will give to the lower one, I am going to come to that within 2 minutes. Consider the score is 5 for the higher one. That means, my, it, you are placing a, a level of importance which states by definition is much more important. Hence, there the experience and judgment strongly favor one uh, criteria over the other or one alternative over the other. The next one which is the fourth row is, is of a score of 7, 7 means very much more important which means that experience and judgment very uh, strongly favors one over the other. Hence, it is its importance is demonstrated in practice. Hence, one would give a score of 7, other would give it a score which is definitely much, much lower. What is that lower score? I am going to come to that which I just mentioned. So, if the intensity of, um, of importance is 9, it basically means absolutely more important the one which you want to take with respect to the other. And as per the explanation, it means the evidence favoring one over the other is of highest possible validity. Hence, you will give a high score of 9 and other you will give another score which is definitely much, much less than 9. And if we give the weights of 2, 4, 6, 8 which are the even numbers, they are intimate values and when compromise needs to be made, then you can basically give. So, the reason why 1, 3, 5, 7 is that you want to basically bucket or make the buckets of the of the scores in such a way that there is no ambiguity. But if there is ambiguity, you can bring the points of 2, 4, 6, 8 also in the scoring along with 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 in order to make it much more smooth, smooth enough. But obviously, the scores of 1 is to some value, 3 is to some value, 
5 is to some value, 7 is to some value and 9 is to some value would give, if you are able to do that, you will give a much more rational and a stark differential ranking system. Now, what does it mean? So, see for example, what you will do in the case of this ranking of the cars, you will consider the three criteria based on which you are trying to rank. I am not bringing the car into the picture for the time being, remember that please. So, see for example, it is like this, if the cars are there, cars would be for a decision maker the same way as Ram's and Sham parents would have analyzed Ram and Sham separately. So, Ram and Sham are basically the, the alternatives which they have in front of them. Now, you consider Ram is going to consider placement potential and academy rigor in the same way, in same way you are going to consider the 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 in the what I should say the ranking or the, the comparison or the alternatives in this way. So, what are the alternatives in the first criteria of the first level? I am not going to the second level because there was no, no second level, we would not consider that. There are style, cost and fuel economy. So, when you compare, so pay, pay special attention to the first value which is 1 1, the second cross 2 cross 2 value which is again 1 1 and 3, 3 comma 3 which is the third value which says that if you consider those values they fall along the principal triangle. So, what does it mean and it is very logical. When I com compare style to style I give a score of 1 that means style with respect to style they are same of the same importance. When I rank cost to cost again I give the same score of 1 is to 1. When I compare fuel economy to fuel economy I give a score of 1 is to 1 hence the score is 1. Now, let us go to the off the diagonal element. So, let us consider, I will highlight each values accordingly. Let us consider 2 with respect to half. So, what it means that when, when I consider uh, cost uh, to say for example, wait. when I am going to consider the concept of cost to style and when I am going to consider style to cost, I give a score of a ranking of cost is twice important with respect to style. Hence, I give a score of 2 and when I am consider style with respect to cost, it will be just but in the reverse in the sense I will give a half a score for style while I had given a 2 score for the concept of cost. When I am considering cost and style, cost is giving uh, is, is on a higher pedestal of a score of 2 while style has a score of half. Now, when I consider say for example, cost I am only consider the, the for the timing the cost with respect to say for example, fuel economy. So, for me cost to, to fuel economy I give a score of 4 to um, cost and 1 4 to a sc uh, score of 12 fuel economy. Hence, when I consider that the concept of cost is coming out to be much more important with respect to fuel economy than it has been with respect to style. And when I consider say for example, the concept of fuel economy to style, I give a score of one third to three that means fuel economy is one third ranking with respect to style hence style has a value of three. Now, let us pause. The values which are written here are being given by a person, but obviously there can be some irrationality in the decisions of trying to rank. Because if I am ranking A with respect to B, A is higher and when I am trying to rank B with respect to C, where B is higher, many of the cases it turns out that the ranking of A, C is A with respect to C is such that C comes out to be on a higher ranking for A, which is logically not true. So, the table which you see in front of uh, us or the slide is the ranking which has been made by the person and will basically try to combine all the alternatives in such a way that any inconsistency in the ranking would come out automatic, automatically as we do the problem. So, with this I will end, end the second class for fifth week and continue discussion of AHP later on in the third and fourth class for the fifth week. Have a nice day and thank you very much.